Since the beginning of television and television shows, we have seen countless of crossovers featuring characters of one TV show pairing in the other. This list will count down my top 10 picks for best TV crossovers. Now, this doesn't include any uh, spinoffs because when you get spinoffs, you're obviously going to see characters from the show originated from appearing in the show and vice versa. So, spinoff shows are not included in this list. So, the only shows on this list are shows that are never spun off or has spin off in general. Number 10. On the hit anime TV show The Simpsons, they've had popular uh, fut Futurama character uh, Bender has appeared in countless episodes. Oh, a couple of episodes. Couple of cameo appearances on a couple of episodes. There's an episode where Bar has become obsessed with TiVo, he starts imagining other cartoon characters, including Bender. In another episode, which is one of their many futuristic episodes, Homer and Bar are in a car, drive through a tunnel, and guess who appears next to them? Bender, who says, asks them to be his friend, which they just throw him out. Now, this uh, crossover cameo makes sense since The Simpsons and Futurama were both created by Matt Green, so it made sense for a character to appear in both shows. Number nine. What happens when you take the uh, most popular character on a sitcom about a um, suburban African American family living in Chicago? And then place him in an episode of the TV series about a um, family living in San Francisco. You get Steve Urkel doing a very funny uh, crossover appearance on Full House playing the cousin of one of DJ's friends. Here he interacts with uh, Uncle Jesse and give advice to Stephanie about wearing glasses. Uh, it was a funny episode. I wish they had done more Family Matters for House um, crossover since both shows were very popular in the early 90s. Number 8. In the 70s, he teamed up with Robin to fight crime in Gotham City. They fought crime at the, around the same time under the Green Hornet and Cato. But in two episodes, they appeared on screen together. First, in a wall climb gag on an episode of Batman, where both Green Hornet and K.O. looked out the window as Batman and Robin were scaling up a wall. But in a two-part episode of Batman, they, Batman and Robin team up with both Green Hornet and K.O. to help solve a crime. Now, this was probably the first outside of cartoons and comics where you saw uh, superhero crossovers. So this was a really cool idea, especially for fans of both shows, knowing that they both live in the same universe. Number seven. What happens when you take two famous barflies from a certain TV series about a bar where everybody knows your name and put them in an episode of the TV series about a small airport on a small island. You get a funny episode with Norm and Cliff flying to the island on the airline for a fishing trip. That, well, knowing them, they don't fish and it's more about them drinking and getting in other people's situation. Funny episode of two series, an example of two series with almost nothing in common besides being a comedy. Find a way to have a crossover that actually worked for one episode. Number six. Normally when you think of a drama, a crime drama series being put in a crossover, you think another crime drama. But not in the case of Law and Order, Special Units, Units, uh, John Munch. He was actually put in an episode of the quirky comedy Arrested Development. Technically, it's not the same character, but it's a very character, similar character, which a lot of fans 
have considered it still a crossover. In it, he is hired to commit an idiot called um, Tobias VK, played by the fine David Cross, to give up information about one of the main characters, which, him being an idiot, he actually almost does. This is achieved through a fake photographing um, class taught by Professor Munch, which further proves this is actually a Law and or SVU crossover. But either way, it was a funny episode and a funny series that saw a very unlikely crossover. Number five. First, there was Family Guy. Then American Dad. And then The Cleveland Show. Now, I know I said earlier that spinoffs do not count. But American Dad is not a spinoff. It's just a show set in the same universe as Family Guy and The Cleveland Show. So any crossovers between the three shows is fair game and still counts as non-spinoff. Since the conception of American Dad, both characters have been both appearing on each other's shows. Again, it's not a spin-off, it's a continuation in the same universe. From ranging from American Dad to the Star Wars episode to even Roger making an appearance in a time traveling themed episode. It's really awesome though, considering that three different shows are set in the same universe. And that's not including the spin-off. Number four. Now South Park has been known to spoof of their shows. In fact, one of my favorite, which comes out our number five uh, crossover, involved The Simpsons. Now, The Simpsons has referenced South Park before, as in this picture with Barb, Rob Zang Stan, Mel Skyle, Marn as Carmen, and I guess it's uh, Ralph as Kenny. Heck, even South Park did an episode spoofing the Simpsons called Simpsons already uh, did with Butters trying to do some de- uh, evil deeds as Dr. Chaos, but Simpsons already beat him too, and he has this whole hallucination seeing everyone as a Simpsons character. But in a South Park episode that was actually meant to make five Family Guy gave us, for, to me, one of the best crossovers in cartoon history, where Bart Simpson made an appearance. Or at least a very Bart Simpson-like character. He's not named Bart in the show, but it's basically a South Park version of him. Uh, an episode he does chalk drawings and carries a skateboard like, well, Bart. In the episode, him and Carmen team up and break apart to um, give her a family guy because it ruins their reputation. Again, this is to me the best cartoon crossover ever. Number three. For season three of Transformers, the 80s cartoon saw a flash forward to 20 years into the distant future, 2006. Well, it was for the ladies, but either way, we saw older versions of characters. One way, during the middle of the season, we saw an old um, villain, well, terrorist, who's not been co- uh, wasn't named. But, as you can see, it looks very identical to the G.I. Joe, the A's cartoon villain, Cobra Commander. It's been confirmed that that was their intention for this to be an older version of Cobra Commander in the year 2006, a good 20 or so years after the events of the G.I. Joe cartoon series. Now, since then, they have been comics and so forth, uh, doing crossover between the two cartoons. But this was the only one f- that actually was based in the cartoon series in the 80s. Number two. One show is about a traditional Italian family in, living in, on Long Island, in New York. The other is a sitcom about a married couple who have the wife's father living with them in Queens, New York. But characters on both shows appeared on the other. 
which made sense because Kevin James, who played Doug, plays Doug on King Queens, used to have a role on Everybody Loves Raymond. King Queens is not a spinoff, but it's uh, but it's in the same universe as Raymond. So it, since it was uh, two popular shows for the network, they had characters appear in quite a few episodes of the show. And the number one TV crossover of all time, in my opinion, is Seinfeld. The reason, well, in its heyday, its most popular character, Kramer, made a crossover appearance in another popular sitcom at the time, which was on the show Mad About You. In the Mad About You episode, we find out Kramer, before becoming Jerry's annoying neighbor, we used to be neighbors with the main character. It was a funny episode, but seeing Kramer outside of the Seinfeld environment was priceless. That's why it's my pick for number one as the best TV crossover of all time. One honorable mention I wish I had more room to have on it is Mulder and Scully from the X-Files appearing on The Simpsons. Well, anyway, that's been my top 10 TV crossovers of all time. Do you think I'm missing something besides The X-Files on The Simpsons? But um, to, Or do you disagree with the or or whatever? Please leave a comment below.